Hey guys, today we're going to make this long beaded bracelet. Uh, this I made with decreases, but you can also make it uh, with a clasp. So mine has, uh, it's like this, with the decreases and with the thread to be um, tied on the hand. But you can also add a clasp if you add a clasp these rows you will have to you will have to do before beforehand like before when before we start this you're going to make one two three four five five or six uh, white rows and then we're going to start the the work so this is how it looks this is how it looks already made for the materials you're going to need obviously a thread and a needle the needle can be any size i think i'm using a 11 here mm. you're gonna need your loom you're gonna need your loom with 16 rows so uh, the width of the bracelet is 15 so you're gonna need 16 rows of uh, thread in the description i'm gonna put the link on uh, how to add the uh, thread to the loom for the beads you're going to need black and white so you, the background the background you can do it black as well then you're not going to need white but if you're going to do it white just like this you're going to need black and white so i'm using black and white these are seed beads uh preciosa ornella but you can use toho then it's not going to be uh, at one point it can go a little bit curvy even if now it's straight but <clears throat> when you work with these not the same size everything then it's going to be a little curvy if you use toho or delica even better everything is going to be straight or you can use smaller because this one has if you don't want it to be so big this one is 2.8 cent centimeters so like one inch and the length is from the de decrease to decrease is 15 centimeters or six inches so you do the white parts as you think the size would be so black and white you have these colors now you're going to need two shades of green one dark one light i'm using these shades so you can use uh, any shades you're going to need two shades of red i'm using these two so one darker and one lighter and optionally you can use orange i've used orange it's i don't know how visible it is in the video as well like these are orange but these are light like these are orange these are light red so i don't know how big of a difference you you can see but if you don't want this is optional and instead of orange you can just use the light red you can i will say it's all i will say orange because i used but you can use light red instead of orange so yeah have your loom uh with the thread have your uh, needle threaded prepare your uh, beads and uh, we can start okay so i have my uh, needle threaded i prepared my beads and i have to uh, attach the thread on the loom so i'm going to turn my project and i'm going to attach it here because I'm going to use it without a clasp, I'm just going to make a knot somewhere around this area. So I have a little bit of, um, a little bit space here. And I'm going to leave a little bit of tail because I'm going to work my end with that. So I'm just going to make one knot. And another one for safety. like so okay now i'm going to turn it around because this is more comfortable for me to work with i'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see and we start and we're going to be picking up two white one two light green one dark green three white one dark green and six white one two three four five six so this is our first row 
I'm going to pull it down so you can see my thread is going under I'm going to pull it down towards here this is the uh, hardest row to attach because you have to be very careful because they don't have their space already made the beads so you have to carefully push them up from under to push them up if you cannot do it all at once you just do it as much as you can the first time pull the thread and go again make sure in between each um, thread there is a bead so my thread is coming from here and I'm gonna go through the rest of them making sure that the needle is going on top of the thread from the loom it's a little bit uh, wavy but it will um, straighten so this is the first row for the second row we will be picking up four white one two three four three dark green one two three one light green one white one dark green one white one dark green and three white one two three this is our second row i'm gonna pull them all down now it should be a little bit easier than the first time so we should be able to push them all into place hold it like so and now we can pass through all of them at once making sure we are always on top of the uh, loom thread and we're just pulling slowly it will uh, straighten and i'm gonna go with my needle under the work <coughs> for the next row we will be picking up three white one two three three light red one two three one dark red three light red one two three one dark green and four white one two three and four and this is what we have for the third row we're gonna push them all down put them into their places pushing them up And we go with the needle through all of them making sure we are on top like so for the next row we're gonna be picking up one white two light red one orange one dark red five light red one two three four five one dark red and four white one two three four we're gonna pull them down to our work like so and we're going to plop them into their place and we go with the needle making sure we are on top of the <coughs> loom thread For the next row we're gonna be picking up one white two three three light red one two 
3, one dark red, one black, I'm sorry, I'm going to come back, I forgot about black, so you need white and black, I'm sorry, I will return with black on, with uh, to put some black beads, and then back, so uh, one white, three re light red, one dark red, one black, one dark red, three light red, one, two, three, one dark red, one orange, two light red, and one white. And we pull them all down. We push them all into its place. And we go with the needle through all of them. For the next row, we're going to be picking up one white, three light red, one, two, three, one dark red, three black, one, two, three, two light red, one, two, one dark red, one orange, two light red, and one white and we push them all down and we push them all up on top of the bloom thread and we go with the needle through all of them For the next row, we're going to be picking up three white, one, two, three, one light red, one dark red, one black, one light green, one black, two light red, two dark red, two light red, and one white. We push them all down, push them all up on top of the loom thread, hold it still and go with the needle through all of them. For the next row, we're going to be picking up two white, one, two, three light red, one, two, three, one dark red, one light green, two black, two light red, one dark red, two light red, and one white. And we pull them all down, push them all up above the loom thread, hold it still and go with the thread, with the needle through all of them, making sure our needle goes on top of the loom thread. For the next row, we will be picking up one white, three, four, sorry, four light red, one, two, three, four, one dark red, one black, one light green, one black, three light red, one, two, three, and three white, one, 
and we push them all down push them all up above the loom thread hold it still and go with the needle through all of them making sure we are on top of the loom thread <clears throat> for the next row we will be picking up one white four light red one two three four three dark red one two three one light green three light red one two three one orange and two white one two and we push them all down push them all on top of the loom thread hold it steady and go with the needle through all of them For the next row, <coughs> we're going to be picking up one white, five, <coughs> five light red, one, two, three, four, five, five dark red, one, two, three, four, five, two light red, one, two, one orange, and one white. We pull them all down, pushing them on top of the loom thread, hold it steady, and we go with the needle through all of them, making sure the needle goes through. Like when you pass through, you can see the the shine of the needle in between the beads that's why you need to see the shine of the needle not the thread so you have to go with the needle on top of this thread for the next row <coughs> we will be picking up three white one two three three light red one two three one dark red six light red one two three four five six one orange and one white and we push it pull it down putting all the beads at their place on top of the loom thread hold it steady and go with a needle through all of them for the next row we're gonna be picking up four white one two three four one light red one dark red one orange two light red one dark green two light red one dark red and two white we're gonna be putting them down placing them nicely into their spots hold it steady and go with the needle through all of them for 
for the next row we're gonna be picking up four white one two three four five light red one two three four five one light green three light red one two three and two white one two going to pull them nice down nicely push them on top of the thread hold them and go with the needle through all for the next row we're going to be picking up hopefully it i don't know if it's uh with very good easy to see hopefully it is for the next row we're gonna be picking up five white one two three four five three light red one two three one dark green and six white one two three four five six we are going to put them down put them all into their place like so hold them and go with the needle through all of them Like so. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up seven white one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two dark green, one, two, one white one dark green three white one two three and one light green and we push them down we put them all into their places hold them and go with the needle through all of them I'm running out of thread so I'm going to have to uh, add more thread in the description I'm going to add a link on uh, how to add the uh, thread to the bracelet so I'm going to come back with new thread okay I got my new thread for the next row we're gonna be picking up seven white one two three four five six seven one dark green one white one dark green one light green one white two dark green and one light green going to pull them all down push them all into their place hold it steady and go with the needle through all of them making sure I'm on top of the thread for the next row we're gonna be picking up six white one two three four five six one dark green one light green three white one two three two dark green one white and one dark green i'm gonna push them down to the loom put them all into their place hold it and we go with the needle 
رو بالا بدم for the next row <coughs> six white one two three four five six one light green three white one two three two dark green one two one light green and two white and we're going to Push them down, put them all into their place, hold it, and go with the needle through all of them. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up four white, one, two, three, four, one dark green, one white, one light green, one white, two dark green, two light green, and three white. One, two, three. Going to Pull them down, arrange it nicely into place, hold and go with the needle through all of them. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up four white, one, two, three, four one dark green three light red one two three one dark red three light red one two three and three white one two three I'm gonna push them all down Put them all into their place. Holding it. And going with the needle through all. For the next row, we're going to be picking up four white. One, two, three four one dark red five light red one two three four five one dark red one orange two light red and one white we're going to push them down Put them all into their place, holding it and going with the needle through all of them. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up one white, two light red, one orange, one dark red, three light red, one dark red, one black, one dark red, three light red, <coughs> and one white. If it's hard to see the difference between orange and light red, you can skip the orange, use just light red, it's okay, or <clears throat> it's just for more um, shades. 
you don't necessarily have to use the orange for the next row one white two light red one orange one dark red two light red three black one two three one dark red three light red one two three and one white I'm going to pull them all down put them all into their place and go with the needle through all of them <coughs> for the next row we pick up one white two light red two dark red two light red one black one light green one black one dark red one orange and three white one two three and we put them all down put them all into their place hold it and go through the with the needle through all of them making sure we are on top of the loom For the next row we're gonna be picking up one white two light red one dark red two light red two black one light green one dark red three light red and two white We're going to push them all down, put them all into their place, and go with the needle. Through all of them. If you want it to be thinner, you can use the whole 15 o. If you don't want it to be so round, you can use the whole 11 o whatever beads you want you can use for the next row three white one two three three light red one two three uh, one black one light green one black one dark red and four four light red one two three four and one white And we push it all down we put them all into their spot we hold it and we go with the needle through all of them For the next row we're gonna be picking up two white one two one dark red three light red one two three one light green three dark red one two three four light red one two three four and one white And we're going to pull it down, 
put them all, in, all into their place hold it holding it means with this with this finger I push up so hopefully it's easier to see so I push with this finger up and with this I push down so this goes down this goes up so that the the thread goes down but the beads stay up so this up this down and I'm going with the thread to all of them For the next row, we're going to be picking up one white, one orange, two light red, five dark red, one, two, three, four, five, five light red, one, two, three, four, five, and one white. I'm going to push them all down. Put them all into their place. Holding it and going through all of them. Make so. For the next row, we're going to be picking up one white one orange three light red one two three one dark red two light red one dark red three light red one two three and three white one two three i'm gonna push it down Put everything into place and I'm gonna go with the needle through all of them for the next row we're gonna do two white one two one orange two red one dark green two red oh uh, sorry sorry so we start over because i didn't said what red i'm sorry so two white one orange two light red one dark green two light red one dark red one orange one light red and four white one two three four and you push them all down like so and we go with the needle through all of them for the next row we're gonna be picking up two white one two three light red one two three one light green five light red one two three four five and four white one two three four we're gonna push them all down put them into their places like so hold it and go with the needle through all of them
for the next row we're gonna be picking up six white one two three four five six one dark red uh dark green sorry dark green one dark green two uh three light red i don't know what's wrong with me and five white one two three four five and we push them down put them all into their place hold and go with the needle through all of them I think my reds are not exactly the same size as my others so it's a little bit not perfectly but this if you use the hole this will not be a problem for the next row one light green three white one two three one dark green one white two dark green and seven white one two three five six seven put them all down put them all into their place holding mm -hmm. it and going with the needle through all of them For the next row, one light green, two dark green, one white, two light green, one white, one dark green, and seven white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna pull them all down put them all into their place hold and go with the needle through all of them for the next row we pick up one light green one white two dark green three white one light green one dark green and six white one two three four five six and we pull it down put them all nicely in their place and go through all of them for the next row we pick up one white one dark green one light green one dark green four white one two three four one dark green and six white one two three four five six and we put them all down put them all into their place hold and go with a needle through all of them normally here it repeats what we did at the beginning so if you want you can just copy the one but I'm, I'm just gonna do with you guys together so we're so we do it all <laughs> for the next one we pick up three white one two three three light green one two three 
one dark green, one white, one light green, one white, one dark green, and four white. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to push them down. Put them all into their place, holding it and going with the needle through all. Next. For the next row, it's going to be exactly the first flower. So three white, one, two, three, three light red, <coughs> one, two, three, one dark red. I ran out of light red here, so I'm just going to take some. Three light red, one, two, three one dark green and four white one two three four and we're gonna push them all down put them all into their place holding it and going with the needle through all of them until the end so For the next row, we're soon done. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up one white, <coughs> two light red, one orange, one dark red, five light red, one, two, three, four, five, one dark red, and four white. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna push this all down, put them all into their place. And go with the needle through all of them. I'm gonna change my yarn and I'm gonna come back. Okay, for the next row, we're gonna be picking up one white, three light red, one, two, three, one dark red, one black, one dark red, three light red, one, two, three, one dark red, one orange, two. Uh, light red and one white and I'm going to pull it all down pop it all into place and put them all into their place and go with the needle through all of them For the next row, we're going to be picking up one white, three light red, one, two, three, one dark red, three black, one, two, three, two light red, two dark red, two light red, and one white. We're going to push them all down, pull them all into their place, and go with the needle through all of them.
for the next row we're gonna be picking up three white one two three one orange one dark red one black one light green one black two light red two dark red two light red and one white I'm going to put them all down plop them into their space holding it and going with the needle through all of them for the next row we're gonna be picking up two white one two three light red one two three one dark red one light green two black two light red one dark red two light red one white we're going to push them all down plop them all into their space holding it and we go with the needle through all of them next so for the next row we're gonna be picking up one white three light red one two three one dark red one black one light green one black three light red three white I'm going to push them all down plop them all into their space what am I missing? I think I'm missing something. I'm sorry. So it was one white, four, um, four light red, one dark red one black one light green one black three light green light red three white two, three. so I'm gonna show you from the thread Now I'm going to pull them all down, plop them all into their space, and we go with the needle through all of them. Like so. For the next row, one white, four light red, one, two, three, four, three dark red, one, two, three, one light green, three light red, one orange, and two white. And I'm going to put it all down, plop them all into their space, holding it, and we go with the needle through all of them.
make some run out of white thread again. So for the next row, one white, five light red, one, two, three, four, five, five dark red, one, two, three, four, five, two light red, one, two, one dark red, <coughs> and one white. Let me put it all down. Clop them all into place. And go with the needle. Through all of them. Like so. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up three white, one, two, three, three light red, one, two, three, one orange, six light red, one, two, three, four, five, six, one orange, and one white. And we put them all down. Plop them all nicely into their space, holding them and going with the needle through all of them. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up four white. One, two, three four one light red one dark red one orange two light red one light green two light red one orange and two white and we pull it down to the loom Plop them all nicely into their space and go with the needle through all of them. For the next row, we're going to be picking up four white one, two, three, four. Five light red, one, two, three, four, five, one dark green, three light red, one, two, three, and two white, one, two. And we put it, pull it down to the bracelet, plopping them all into their place. Holding it and go with the needle through all of them. No, not so loud. For the next row, I ran out of white now. Let me pick up some white beads as I will need for the endings as well. For the next row, we're gonna be picking up five white one, two, three, four, five, three light red, one, two, three, one dark green, and six white. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we pull this down to the bracelet. 
clap it nice into place holding it and go with the needle through all of them for the next row we're gonna be picking up seven white one two three four five six seven one light green one dark green one white one light green three white and one dark green we're gonna pull them all down clop them all nicely into place and go with the thread with the needle through all of them for the next row we're gonna be picking up seven white one two three four five six seven one dark green one white one light green one dark green one white and three dark green one two three pulling them all down plopping them all into their space and go with a needle through all of them now if you're gonna use clasp do five more white rows on this side i'm going to zoom out a little bit so if you're gonna use clasp do five more white rows on here five rows here and then add the clasp if you're gonna do without the clasp we keep going the ones with clasp as well keep going but they're doing full rows we're just going to do um decreases now so our width is 15 next row but when the decrease we put 13 so 13 white one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so 13 white now just white we use and we put it we pull it down we skip the first gap don't know how to make it more visible we skip the first gap and we plop the beads into other gaps skipping first and last gap and we go with the thread through all of them don't squeeze here because i will have a, a post in the uh, description of how to fasten it off next round 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 pull them all down skip two gaps at the beginning two at the end plop them all into place go with the thread go with the needle to all of them next round nine one two three four five six seven eight nine pull it down skip three gaps at the beginning three at the end plop them into the middle gaps and go with the thread next one seven one two three four five six seven pull it down skip four gaps on both sides plop it in the middle go with the thread next one five one two three four 
five. Pull it down. Skip the gaps. One extra gap on each side. Go with the needle. Next one, three. One, two, three. Pull it down. Skip extra one extra gap on both sides and go through. Next one, one bead. And you put it directly in the middle. You're gonna do on the other side as well with the with this. So we left this uh, at the beginning, this thread, and you're gonna do exactly the same as we did here, the decrease we did here. You're gonna do exactly the same on this side. And in the comments, I'm gonna have a link with the um, uh, videos for how to put the thread on the on the loom how to add more thread and how to fasten it off without a clasp hope you enjoyed it hope i made a lot i'm i don't know why i'm easily distracted i'm sorry i made some mistakes hopefully there uh, you didn't get too upset about it if you like it please like comment subscribe all the good stuff and have fun bye bye